All right, thank you for staying with the Monday Report. Town Hall session, we're talking about the debt of shame, the digital lenders. Now it's being established that they, they are unorthodox ways of getting money from the people they've given the loans is where the rubber meets the road. And there are those who are regulated and there are those who are not regulated. So it's upon you to find the ones who are regulated so that you don't go through all this drama. But the CBK governor, Dr. Patrick Njorongi, spoke about this sometimes back. Let's listen to what he had to say. We don't want to leave innovators to run amok in the country, in lending, or any other area. Today we are talking about credit lending. Um, or oh, lending. Tomorrow there could be something else. Again, it's an ecosystem. So today we are talking about a particular area that we think we understand. But tomorrow there may, it may expand to something else. So I think from our perspective, what we need to do is to regulate, not to over-regulate. There's an issue of doing excessive regulation. And this is why we want to hold back. We, we want to be strategic in terms of the regulation. So in terms, for instance, why is it that we are regulating? I, I make the point again that the first area here is one of protecting consumers, so relating to what we call a public good. I mean, there was a, a point that was raised earlier about, uh, and uh, if you don't mind, uh, um, the word that, the sentence that you repeated, willing buyer, willing seller, you know, and that I think doesn't work because we have a responsibility to protect the public. And yeah, you've already agreed with this. So regulation is important. It's just that there's some people who are rogue, like you call them. Let's bring up one more video question before we wrap up and take closing remarks on this. How can you call the whole village? How can you call my great grandparents just because I borrowed 300 shillings from you? Yeah, our junior Atala Manini. The fact that I gave you access to my contact doesn't mean you should call everyone and remind them of 300. We had an agreement between me and you. Not me and my great great grandfather. Let them work on their policies. Again, the name Tala comes up, Ivan. You know, it's it's an unfortunate curse of being uh, one of the oldest brands uh, in, in fintech in Kenya. In many ways, Tala is synonymous with the word digital lending, and so uh, it's usually one of the easiest uh, words that people uh, tend to recall whenever they think, "Oh, who, who's in digital lending?" But that being said, um, you know, and just to make a, a critical point, um, actually, as Tala, our minimum loan size is much higher than 300 shillings, is at least 1,000 shillings. So I know that the gentleman must have been referring to another lender, but remembering Tala. Um, that's what I'd say on that point. But let's make this very clear. Tala doesn't call people. Is that what you're saying? Oh, no. I mean, we would, we would call the actual borrower. We, we're not, we do not call borrowers, uh, phone contacts, your family, your friends. That's not how we, uh, to be super clear, that is not how we conduct ourselves at all. Uh, you know, they, they're not involved in the contract that has been entered into. Ultimately, it's just between us, Tala, and you, the borrower. Okay. I'll take closing remarks from you, starting from you, Chairman. Where do we go from here before I take some feedback? Because you've realized now, uh -huh. the way of getting back the money is where people have a problem with. That's it. Yeah. So debt collection is a thing we are solving. Uh, the list of the bad actors is, is being worked on, as I said earlier. And actually, we are sending it to the Office of the Data Commissioner, a revised list tomorrow morning. Um, but my closing remarks are these. Digital lending is the baby of M-Pesa. Let's not forget where we all started. It all started with M-Pesa, the very imaginative, innovative uh, solution. Digital lending then came. We are now also now a baby, and we are about to give birth to our own babies. And what we need to remember is that this is a catalytic thing for the Kenyan economy. If we get this right, it is going to make the Kenyan economy grow faster, create jobs, as Honorable Keter has, has said, that he wants, and that's his objective. And the reason that will be done is because the way you need to look at uh, lending is as fuel, right? And now that we'll have r good laws, a basic uh, rule book, 
how to do debt collection, who to list on the CRB, how to do all those things around the CRB. It will be fuel. And all these SMEs and MSMEs and informal sector entrepreneurs will have something, right? They'll have capital, they'll have working capital, they'll have uh, liquidity, yeah. right? And so we need to remember that piece, that this uh, CBK Amendment Bill 2021 is actually an opportunity to unlock the potential that Kenya is. Okay. Yeah. But even before we give that list of rogue lenders, can we at least get the list of the ones who yes. are good, who will not call so our ancestors? Asante for bringing that up. The Digital Lenders Association website is dlak.co.ke. Go there. 21 uh, members are listed on there. And all you have to do is click on the logo. You don't even have to type anything. Click on the logo and it will take you direct to the lenders. So say that one more time. DLAK.co.ke. Okay. You will find a page there with all the members. Click on the logo. All In right. fact, uh, I, I, Ivan's uh, Tala is number one. Okay. <laughs> all right, get Closing remarks. Uh, I share the concern with the many uh, citizens who have actually fallen victim of these rogue players. What I will ensure is uh, as soon as we are back from recess, these individuals must face the relevant committee and explain so that they may understand that in Kenya, we also operate within laws and we need to respect each other when you are doing business. And to my fellow young entrepreneurs, all I can tell you is build your wealth honestly. Build your wealth with integrity. Okay. Uh, easy loans are not free. They might be sweet, sweet music to your ears, but just know there's nothing for free in this world. Okay. Ivan, closing remarks? Yeah, I think Honorable Kater and uh, the lecture have done a great job of actually summarizing. But I will say, just in closing, is that we are at a critical time right now in terms of the life of the digital lending industry. I think it's now is the right time for regulation. I want to repeat again that let us be careful that we don't kill this baby as we throw out the bath water. These rogue lenders are doing uh, unacceptable practices and they will be stopped. Right? Uh, regulation is coming. So to the many consumers and Kenyans who have expressed a lot of their anger this evening, you are justified. Um, and you will also be rectified. Um, so I'd essentially say that we are aligned with you. Not all lenders act like this. Uh, we believe regulation will bring some good to the industry, but we want to make sure that there's still industry left to serve you once we're regulated. Thank All right. You. Brilliant. Let's bring up some of the feedback that's coming through really quick before we wrap this up. I think we have just about a minute coming through. Honorable Sylvia Kasanga, that's a nominated member of parliament, says in the end, regulation and legislation serves to even the playing field and protecting the most vulnerable in the society. I'm looking forward to some order in this realm. Kenyans have been gravely abused in this time of COVID, especially when most borrowers have been affected by the pandemic. If we are going to build our community into a global player, then checks and balances are necessary. We cannot expect DILAC only to do this. They need our help. That is Senator Kasanga. All right, let's see what else he's saying. Kiyumbe K says, with young MPs such as Honorable Kater, this country's future is secure. It's not always doom and gloom. Digital lenders' bill is long overdue. All right. You see what else you're saying here before we wrap up. Melvin Obada says, digital lending in Kenya has reached an under, underserved segment of the, of the population, e.g. farmers, by using alternative methods of credit scoring. Traditional banks would not easily lend. Don't kill it. Just sort out the few issues, e.g. education rogue, and rogue lenders as well. Okay. Uh, it's Kiplating says digital lenders should be regulated and data protection policy must be complied with. Rogue digital lenders should be wept away to restore the confidence of digital lending. Let's take one last one here before we wrap it up. Nyadido Jr. says regulation creates order in SOPs in any industry. My key concern is regulation to one, protect my data, two, protect me from exorbitant interest rates by putting a cap, and three, protect me from identity theft. All right, that's where we leave it for now. Thank you so much. Kevin Mutiso, Chairperson, Digital Lenders Association of Kenya. We will wait for you to publish that list, by the way. That's what we're waiting for. As soon as it's done, we'll also put it up. Ivan Boa, MD Tala, thank you so much for making time. And Honorable Gideon Keter, nominated member of parliament. How soon will this be through, you said? It's in the committee level. So, yeah. The report is coming out. Had a meeting with the various players okay. in the industry. 
Do we so, know when this is likely to going to happen? Yes. How long after recess? Uh, after recess, we will be able to table the report. And give a time frame? Yes, and then we queue. All right. Yes. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. My name is Trevor Mbij on behalf of the entire team that made this possible. Now you know. So you have to go to dilac.co.ke, find out the people you can borrow from who are regulated. And if any of them breach that, then you can also tweet and then we'll have that as a, under evidence and make sure that you're protected as a borrower. All right? Good night for now. If there's anything I do for you tonight, it's that. Don't be harassed by people out there. Good night. Trevor is my name. See you.